Welcome r slash nuclear revenge. Demoted then they realized they fed up. Worked 9 years at a well known company worldwide provider of various products, won't name this company, but it was a division of this company I worked for. I started at this company at the bottom as a tech, did my job well and excelled upwards, after 6 years I was promoted into the national support group, and also then excelled at this position, it was well paid, and salary which was very nice bump in pay, and the hours were great. After a year in the new position I was promoted to a cooperator position which I shared with another which we were very good friends, and got along very well, to this day we still, do lunches and chat quite frequently. Now I was trained up on the in-house software that runs the dispatching of techs which was made by our in-house software developer which the software used codes for areas and states. Very complex but for him it worked, though no documentation whatsoever no manual, nothing. The guy that had the position before me was leaving the company for a better offer, so he took a month to train me on this software, and of course I wrote down all the codes for all the areas, just so I didn't get anything wrong. Since there was no manual or instructions, he leaves the company. A year later the developer of this software dies from cancer so now no one but myself knows how to use this software. And taking vacations were far, and in between due to this issue, I constantly asked for a backup to be trained, so they can do this job, while I go on vacations. At this point I could only take 2 days at a time for vacation and my wedding was upcoming in 8 months and we were taking a month long honeymoon. No go got denied every time I requested a replacement to be trained. When my cooperator and I took over this new department it was in shambles, our turnover for repairs was sitting around 8 days which upset a lot of customers due to these machines, being used constantly during working hours, we brainstormed and came up with solutions to fix this, and reduce down times dramatically, the bad thing about this is, that it put extreme pressure on logistics, to get parts overnight to a techs in the field which logistics manager was okay with, which he in turn hired enough guys to take this burden on, and was working out pretty well. This turned out to be great. We reduced our downtime from 8 days to on average 2 days. Customers commented constantly about how much better our service was, and how they were definitely happy with how their repairs were going. Then it starts to go south from this point, my manager was looking to move up the ladder, and need to hire someone for his position, of course me and my cooperator apply for position, since we know how to run this division, and think we could do the job great, we both get overlooked for manager's friend, which he had no experience in this division whatsoever, he was actually the one of the logistics purchases. He has no idea whatsoever, to run our department nor any technical experience whatsoever. He of course gets this position and right off the bat this stupid idiot wants to change how we do things and reduce the strain on the logistics group, cooperator and myself immediately protest and oppose his changes with prejudice and vigor, though this fell on deaf ears, when he tells us to implement the changes I refuse, and so does my cooperator. For weeks we argue with manager's friend which is now my manager, and he gets upset and continuously fights with us to make the changes, we again refuse. I am old his manager, and explained the situation, and pointed out, that it would increase repairs and our customers would be very unhappy, at this time we grew the base of our customers 20 fold and our satisfaction rating on all our reviews were in the upper 90s, though these mls and everything, that cooperator and I were explaining, went on deaf ears. At this point manager's friend feels that I'm the instigator of the disobedience and that week I was called into a conference room with ours, manager's friend and his manager. They informed me I was going to be demoted from operator to dispatcher due to my inability to be a team player and confrontational to my manager etc etc. So I said fine with me meant less work and same pay, so I'm okay with this. Now with this job, you had certain functions of the job that you could and could not do. You could only do what was assigned to you for that job description. Dispatchers could only dispatch calls to techs and not assign their own calls, that was my previous job, my cooperator at the time was in charge of escalations and onboarding techs, and did not know the system I used to dispatch these calls. 
Next day I come in and sit at my desk, waiting for calls to be put on my board, knowing that there was no one now to dispatch calls to the dispatchers. After about 4 hours I get approached by manager's friend asking why I was not dispatching calls to everyone. I politely said remember I got demoted I can't dispatch it's not part of my job description and I don't want to be fired for doing something that I'm not allowed to do. The dread on his face could be seen as it streaks up his back and hits him full force. At this point he realized he just up. Of course his manager and ours did not know anything about this software that was developed in house and had no instructions on how to use it. It was the backbone of this division's dispatching software without this no calls could be dispatched out whatsoever. The news is now getting around that no calls are being dispatched and manager's friend's manager now enters and asks what is going on. He soon realizes as well what happened. They then call me back into the conference room and ask me to train a replacement. Of course I refuse the day ends and I go home. Next morning I show up for work on the dot and they call me back in yet again, offering my position back and to please start dispatching calls as soon as possible. Of course I refuse the promotion, pointing out key points that they brought up during my demotion meeting on why they were demoting me. And because of those points I felt I had to overcome them in order to be able to accept the promotion and it would be a great time to focus on my abilities that they outlined. They were flabbergasted and frustrated clearly. They get upset and tell me that I'm holding the company hostage and that they will have to take me to court. At this point per my contract I'm now entitled to a lawyer and they have to pay. Few days go by of course no calls being dispatched they are now relying on emails and phone calls to get calls dispatched and parts ordered and it's pandemonium abound. It is adding so much more time to each call and ordering parts the whole system is falling apart. I finally get contacted by a lawyer telling me that he is to represent me and that he is being paid by the company I work for, but that he works for me period, that he cannot talk to them without my knowledge he cannot do anything against my own interests and that he is being paid by them, but works for me. He goes on to tell me that they can't force me to take a promotion and they can't fire me if I fulfill my obligations of the employment contract which was pretty easy basically just show up on time, take breaks and specified time and leave at specified time. So I do, this goes on for a month, when they are finally getting to the breaking point, repairs are exceeding 2 weeks and customers are cancelling their repair contracts due to service issues. They decided to emote me again to logistics. Now the manager of logistics is a good friend, and he thinks this is retaliation for all these issues, so he just says to me to take a desk over in the corner and do my thing whatever I wanted he wasn't going to punish me for their stupidity. We go to court, they present their case, and my lawyer presents mine. After two days the judge rules in favor of me and says that a company cannot force me into a job or doing a job that I do not wish and this would be considered enslavement. They press the judge to have me turn over the information to run the software that runs their division. The judge asked me if I had it written down. At this point I didn't have it. I threw it away, so I answered honestly to the judge. Though I did say I do remember how to use it and all the codes to dispatch. Since I did it 4 years it became like second nature. Judge asked me if I would be willing to write down the instructions. I politely said no. Judge said okay that's that then. Upon coming back to work the next day, I decided to start looking for another job. After about a month I found a new position at another company making about 10% more and with better options and also agreed to give me the month off with salary for my honeymoon. So I wrote up a resignation letter and sent it to my manager, his manager and the senior staff of the division and also the CEO of the company. Explaining everything that went on and why I was leaving the company and wish them the best. That Friday I packed up my personal stuff and left two weeks later I get a call from the CEO of the company apologizing for what happened and that all this information just came to light and that the individuals involved were terminated. Manager's friend and his manager and the one above him which was sweet to my ears and offered my job back, I politely declined. 
A few weeks after manager's friend was fired, I was told by my good friend and cooperator that he died from a drug overdose, which is sad and completely not deserved, no matter how much I hated him. The division I ran was merged into another division a year later, after it was not able to recover. 30% of the people that worked for that division were laid off or transferred to other divisions. My cooperator is still working for same company though he said after this whole ordeal it never recovered and never was the same and had gone downhill dramatically and he will be retiring this year. TLDR, running divisions dispatching, being the only one that knows the software with no replacements or manuals, manager demotes me because I won't do things his way that will negatively affect our customers, go to court I win, manager later rods after being fired, 